Hey guys, Affinity Publisher 2 was just released yesterday. So today we're going to talk about five important things you need to know about this new version of the software. Before that, keep in mind the new version is out and I'm going to post multiple new tutorials for this brand new version 2.0. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with all new tutorials coming up soon. All right, let's get started here. I got five things I want to talk about, about this new version of Affinity Publisher. So the first thing we need to talk about is, of course, the price. Is that a free update? paid update or maybe they move to subscription model we need to pay monthly like for adobe luckily no no subscription but that's not a free update so originally the publisher was released in 2019 and we got around three years of free support right and now they are moving to new version of the software so you can you can keep using your publisher version one but you will not get any new updates tool and support for that version so you can keep using that that's all right but if you want all of the new tools and support you need to purchase the software again you could say all right so you've been using this for three le years let's say and now you can buy it again version 2.0 and we probably can use it again for three four years until the version 3 is released so that's how they distribute the software it's a bit similar to how adobe did it in the past remember when we buy photoshop we use it for two years and then they release a new version of photoshop and we can buy it again if you want or we can stick to the old one skip one version and then upgrade after four years or something like that it's exactly the same here you bought version one that's your if you want to use this new version, you must pay again. Just keep in mind, they just uh, got this 40% off discount for the launch of the new version. So that's something to consider. All right. So it's not a regular update. It's totally new version of the program that it's paid. All right. What next? Point number two. Finally, I think the publisher two allow us to make notes. That was the most common question under my tutorials. Every time I do something in publisher, there will be somebody just asking, do you know how to make a footnotes in publisher? Because they assume it's there. <laughs> That's like such a based feature, right? Luckily now we got the whole new panel for making different notes in our documents, books and stuff in publisher. So we can head to our window and from here we can turn on and off different panels, different studios, right? So we want to search for reference and then there will be a notes panel. If I turn this on, I will have this floating window. You can join this with the panel on the left. I kind of recommend that. So I got my notes over here. And now if I pick some elements from this side, I will be able to click this little bookmark icon saying insert note and it will add additional space for me so I can put notation below as you can see it's here it's a little note and we got all the features for the notes like numbering formats we can adjust position style of the note etc so it's here we got footnotes side notes it's here as a solid whole panel all about the notes we can insert them in our documents so that's a huge big requested feature it's here now we got notes that's a huge win <laughs> for affinity publisher 2.0 and thing number three i want to talk about is studio link 2.0 right if people kind of skipping that but now with all of the new apps it's not only publisher version 2 but also designer version 2 and affinity photo version 2 so studio link is this feature that is in affinity publisher where you can use tools from other software you own so let's say you own all three programs like me i can simply click here at the top and switch myself to designer persona and I got tools from this new version of Affinity Designer version 2. So I can benefit from all of these new features like, for example, very requested, very requested shape builder, right? So I can use this new shape builder inside, inside 
this software so i don't need to go and open my i don't need to go and open my affinity designer the studio link is working very very well i can simply use that here as you can see bam we got a new shape using shape builder so studio link is still here it's working even better because we got new tools for designer and for photos so that's a huge and important feature at least for me that i can always open my tools from within publisher and now we got more tools as you can see i can also use the it's very useful wrap tool here we can finally use the vector wrapping so that's totally vector it's not destructive so all the benefits of version 2 for designer and photo they are in your publisher if you own all three programs that's why i always recommend to get publisher as the last one all right so studio link is here and it's better than ever and finally we can have multiple multiple choice for the selection we can select the same or similar objects all across the documents the documents in publisher can be really long 200 pages or something like that you of course we always try to do master pages and stuff like that but sometimes you just want to select similar stuff across your document and now it's much much easier so as you can see i got shape here now i can go up to select and i can use this option select same and there are several things i can pick i can pick fill color and it's automatically select this hard shape because it shared the exactly same fill color all right let's try again but this time i will try to select same stroke color and now i select this star and also the star on the other page so that's working across your pages as you can see and you can select which property you keening on if i pick this one i can use select same and if i feel fill color and stroke nothing else is selected if i use select same fill color i got the star selected because it's the same color so that's really really nice seems like it's not like huge update but it's super handy just able to select the same thing across your whole big document and the last thing we need to mention is that there's finally an app for ipads so in the past we always got ipad app for affinity designer affinity photo but this one for publisher was missing it was leaked out during the apple event recently and now it's finally confirmed and released we got the proper app for ipad for desktop publishing software that's huge in my opinion so it's there you can get it you can buy it a separate application or you can grab this universal license that's selling right now so you can get all apps for all systems so that's up to you keep in mind you can just grab the version on ipad first it's cheaper or you can just start with 30 days trial for desktop that's also a good way to evaluate that this software is for you or not. So today, just five quick things for new version, version 2.0 of Affinity Publisher. So thing is, it's paid update, it's new version, all right? So we need to pay for that. We can put notes as we want right now. Studio link is here and it's better than ever with the version 2.0 of designer and photo. We can now select the same object across the whole document and we can now get the proper iPad app so we can edit our publisher files on the go. So that's five important thing, important features of this new version. That's not all. There's so many new features and I'm going to cover them in upcoming tutorials. So please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.